Hello friends, I am Bree True and today I'm bringing you a really easy protein sensitive curly hair routine. I got asked to do this after my Diva Curl product guide video where I did not know I was protein sensitive but now I have switched up some products and I only use two styling products now, neither of which are Diva Curl. So if you'd like to know what that is, please keep on watching. For washing, I still do use the same shampoo and conditioner. I use Diva Curl's No Poo to um, cleanse my hair. Now for this, you gotta get it all in your fingers and then put those fingers directly in your hair right next to your scalp. We have a tendency to plop shampoo right on top of our head, but with No Poo, with it not lathering, it will be really hard to actually cleanse your scalp that way. Um, so I do it this way and I usually give myself a little scalp massage during it because why not and hair growth. When you're rinsing, also make sure you are really scrubbing with your fingers next to your scalp to get it all out. And then for conditioner, I still use the Diva Curl One Condition Original. And as you can see, I'm getting low on both of these products, especially the conditioner, which is really sad because they're expensive and I'm gonna have to buy more. Maybe I'll try something else. If you guys have any other suggestions for me, give me some, some ideas. And then I'm gonna start the detangling process, which <laughs> for me, since I have curly wavy hair, I just use my fingers. Um, I usually start from the bottom and work my way up and it takes forever, so moving on. Look at my back, I have so much hair on my back. Oh look, I'm trying to wash it off the wall. And then we just rinse that guy out. So before I put any other products on my hair, I just go ahead and plop for about five minutes. Just kidding. I have a baby. So five minutes of free time is usually spent on the computer doing some school replies or checking my email. All right, so for styling with this routine, I only use two products. And since I've discovered my hair is protein sensitive, um, they are both protein free. Anytime I need protein, I add some in with a DIY deep conditioning treatment, which if you are interested in, I will link a video down below for that. I use the Kinky Curly Not Today Leave-In Conditioner. This is gonna be my moisture, and I am really low on that too, cause poor. So I use a good amount of that, probably about half a palmful, and I just go ahead and start putting it mostly at the ends, but I start working my way up with my fingers, detangling my hair again. And then once my hair is pretty much detangled, I add a little bit more leave-in on my fingertips, and I add that again onto the ends, but I use praying hands method this time, just to make sure every section of hair is really saturated, because I live in an area that is really dry, and I need all that moisture. And then I take a wide tooth comb to part my hair. I like making my part rather than letting my hair do its own part because for some reason my curl families up there like to be really big and make it really uneven which I just don't dig very much so I help it out by showing it where to part and then I just use the white tooth comb to brush out the rest of my hair um, making sure that I get it pretty much as straight as possible which may seem weird but it's gonna work out trust me so now that we are all detangled and moisturized I'm gonna style with the kinky curly curling custard it smells amazing like you'll smell it a few times apparently I do you may not I'm kind of weird and then I take a little bit onto my fingertips this stuff is thick so a little goes a long way. I'm really probably just using about a quarter size at first and I rub that in between my fingers and then I start praying hands over my hair. It's really important to rub this custard in between your fingertips and your hands first um, to emulsify it because it's so thick and clumpy. If you put it on straight from the tub, it's not gonna distribute equally and so your hands are really warm and good at helping equal that out and thin it out. So next step is finger coiling just a few pieces around my face and around the crown of my head. Um, I make sure I have enough 
of the gel custard on my fingers when I do this. Um, if you need to grab a little bit more, feel free to. That's how it's going to work best. But I usually take smaller pieces around my face to help frame it, and then I do bigger pieces as I work back towards the back of my head. And I'm not doing my whole head like this. I do not have the time for that. I usually shower when my baby is sleeping, so I only have time to really give me some better definition up top where it's going to show more, so I just go around the top of my head. And then the last step for styling is to scrunch away. Make sure that you hear this squishing sound when you are scrunching. It means that you have enough product in your hair. And then I just take my t-shirt that I used to plop with and I scrunch out each side of my hair about twice to get any excess product or water out of my hair and it kind of helps the drying process go faster. Now here I usually diffuse for a few minutes before letting the rest air dry. And lately I have been using the Mains by Mel Hover technique when I am diffusing since they did do all that work to finger coil my hair. I don't want to really mess it up by using a traditional diffusing method. So if you're interested in her method, I will link her video down below as well. And here's the end result. If you guys liked this video and it was helpful, if you're looking for a protein sensitive or just easy curly hair routine, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe and until then, I will see you guys next time. Adios!